Well, it comes to this. Game two between Sake and Xenix Core at the GeForce SC2 Pro-Am presented by NVIDIA and of course, spoken the voices. Speaking the voices <laughs> are none other than me, I'm Day9. And I am H to the Husky Husky. You know, Sean, we are running out of creative ways to introduce yeah, this. I'm getting... I feel like people should leave comments on how we should introduce it. I'm because getting that would worse be highly entertaining. over time, absolutely. Yeah, I feel if you put it on a scale, it would be just going down the longer that we waited. But regardless, Spawning in the center right side is going to be Zenex Core. I will hopefully just be calling him a core Continuing forward with this series and the center left side is going to be suck and I've asked him He said it's okay that I pronounce it sock So he told me that too But I wanted to honor him by actually addressing him in the appropriate form because if someone was like hey scene And I was like, you know what? You can call me scene. You don't have to call me Sean <laughs> Which is a joke that I said to the person who, uh, who you know, is my mailbox Because I don't have a mailbox at my house I have to, like, walk to a mailbox to gotcha. get it And he calls me scene and is convinced that that is my name And I answer to it, and I'm happy And, and, and he's forever going to do that But Sean, last game now I'm going to start calling you scene by accident do But it. Uh, do it last thing. game we did see Double Fourgate the map is going to be Metalopolis. Now, does the map dictate Protoss versus Protoss builds as much as other matchups and maps? Well, the four gets relatively unaffected due to the ability to, you know, warp in cross map, but there's two big ways in which it's influenced. One, it's difficult to get the pylon cross map. A lot of two gate openings are favored on this map because you can get the stalkers out and monitor at these watchtowers and repel a push. Uh, send the probe back home. Uh, and the second big thing is the follow-up after the four gate, where suddenly the distances are so big that it's actually quite comfortable to get expansions a little earlier, to get tech up a little earlier. I'd likely anticipate to see a little bit more uh, emphasis on Blink and or Robo. And right now, Cybernex Core going down for either player. They have both begun harvesting that gas. Usually you won't see a second gas geyser too early because in this matchup, you definitely need enough units out to hold off any of that pressure. And as we mentioned before, with the proxy pylons, that pressure can come a lot sooner than in any other matchup. So you always got to look out for that. We do have a Zealot once again. This time it is not going to be for Sock. It is instead going to be for Core. And we saw last game that Zealots are effective for the majority of that matchup. So even squeezing one out is not a big deal. It, even if you don't end up using it right away. Cyber Next Core is now just finishing up, which means, yep, they're going to be getting that warp gate. That there is a warp gate upgrade, as we would say in my home state of Kansas, Husky. <laughs> and of course, I just want to introduce to you my favorite quiz. What is the plural of y'all? Y'alls. It is all y'all, Husky. All y'all. Excuse me. I am obviously from the West Coast where hella is, I, I don't know if there's a plural of that, but if there was, I would have a quiz to throw right back at you. Uh, that is... <laughs> <laughs> I eagerly await your hypothetical quiz. <laughs> we see that the probe did get picked off in the base, so that means that Sake is a little bit behind. We see him actually skimping on the probes quite a bit, and there's a, <coughs> there's a, a major lot, cough coming there's in. There's a lot of liquid going into my lungs due to the excitement. I am just salivating at the sight of what looks like is going to be a... <gasps> oh, a Twilight, Twilight Council. Council! We always finish each other's and... Says. Right, so yeah, we, <laughs> we see that there's a nice technique called worker cycling, which is where you build a probe and right before it finishes, you cancel it and then rebuild it again. That's if you want to stay at that key 20 probe limit. And then if your scouting worker gets killed off, you can easily just let yeah. the current one finish. It's a nice technique I've seen OGSMC use quite a bit. Twilight Council now going down for sake. Ah. Now, before you get too excited, expecting only DTs out of these players, there's always going to be three gate stalker is the much more common way mm -hmm. of dealing with that. If you can sneak out DTs versus something that has no robotics, it can really pay off. But what do you think about this expansion from Sock right now, as he is going to be going up against Blink Stalkers? This is bold. I mean, at this point in the game, we see that there are two stalkers. The watchtower is very common with the two gate opening, the third stalker poaching forward, and it has seen no movement at this point in time. So either a probe snuck a pylon really early, or he's fine. And because, you know, you just generally assume that your opponent isn't going to do something as risky as trying to hide one probe. Um, and it looks like, oh man, Sake though. Ooh. I mean, he's, he's utilizing this feeling of safety to try to expand a little bit earlier. 
And cool. Sean, it looks like potentially if Core decides to attack when his blink is done, but his mm -hmm. opponent's is oh, not, he doesn't good. know the timing of this, I'm sure, because he can't see it exactly. But there will be a time where Sox stalkers seem to be worthless. They are going to catch wind of what's going on uh -oh. and try to attack this nice positioning here by Sock, able to run in here, oh. doing a lot of damage, able to take out oh. one stalker, going for a second one, is wow. going to be able to get it, chasing down a third one as well. He is oh. going to get that one, continuing to commit here, but blink is done. Can the stalkers get out here? This one is cool down. No. It takes it out and is going to kill a zealot as well as me and Sean simultaneously pass out from excitement there. Tremendous losses for the... Um for core. He lost so many stalkers and Sake did not lose uh, anything. Now they both have blank ball. He's trying to pull back again to a good position. Some probes are now getting transferred down and the big key is not to build too many of those. <gasps> he jukes forward a little bit too far. We see some blank micro Sake pulling up to the high ground. These battles are goofy because almost nobody's actually taking any damage. But at this point in time in the unit counting station, we do see that there are plenty of stalkers out for Sake. Sake currently has the lead. He has the expansion. There's almost no advantage that core can go for at this point in time. Sake having immaculate defense. Yeah, the blink micro there was really, really good. I'm just going to take a look at the units lost tab. Overall, more units lost for core, which is wow. why this expansion is able to get up and running just wow. fine. And if Sock can squeeze out a couple more probes, that expansion is really going to be insanely good. Looks like core supply blocked after losing that proxy pylon, so he's not able to produce anything right now. And Sock is going to take this chance. And I was going to say, Sean, if someone gets a dark shrine, it could be huge. And that's exactly what core is doing. He knows his opponent's not going to have the detection. He's hoping he's not going to have the detection by the time these DTs get there. This is a very rough spot in Protoss versus Protoss play. You are almost committed to playing defensively the instant you see your opponent going Blink Stalker because there's two big deviations after your opponent goes Blink Stalker. One is Mass Speed Zealots for a follow-up attack. The second, Dark Shrine. You know, just to just to try to go, come on, win! You yep. know, yep, absolutely. The, the, the good old Hopi doesn't have detection play. So if you scout the front and you see Zealots... It's very hard to know what's going on. Is he building Zealots to save gas for the DT, or is he building Zealots because there's a huge attack coming up? And it looks like Sake doing the smart play, going for the Forge. He must build a, a cannon immediately. That is the best defense against both of the options. That said, he should also be getting armor instead of plus one attack. Armor will help your Stalkers against Zealots as well as against other Stalkers if you get the plus one attack. It only helps my stalkers versus your stalkers. We do have the uh, the cannon on the way right there. Positioning is good. Needs to make sure not to allow any DTs to slip in. I am just going to look at the units tab here. We do have 17 stalkers wow. for Sock right now. you got to remember, he also has that blink, which means those stalkers seemingly much more effective. The problem is that he will be stuck in his base until he can get out detection to deal with these stalker or to deal with the DTs when he is himself in an offensive position. Oh, no. He should be able to oh, spot no. this oh, no. DT. Oh, no. Oh, is no. going to slip in? No. It is going to get inside the main base. The stalkers. Oh, 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 he survived. The God. How did that DT get in there, Sean? Oh my God. Oh, no, 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 no. I gotta get in here as well. It looks like, and you can see Sock desperately trying to get in oh. here. Is he going to click the I win button? The robotics are just now being constructed, but at this point, he may lose the Nexus before any sort of detection can get out. Oh, this, this sucks, Husky. He's now chrono boosting the upgrade. Very Excuse me, very important to try to maintain that edge in the late game. If he can get 1-1 one, one upgrades, his stalkers will not only kill the opponents in one less hit, but will also take one more hit to get killed by the opponent stalkers. So it's a huge boost, and it looks like Sake, with his cannon creeping, will not be fast enough. The Nexus falls, plus one done, but oh no. Here's the big stalker attack. Still more blink stalkers. For the German Protoss, but will the core Protoss move in and do a little bit more damage? Again, the Zealot count. Just having a few additional Zealots is so good. The cannons are going to help tremendously as well. <gasps> and he's target firing the Cybernetics core. Oh no, there's been no Observer built yet. We do see the cannon is done and it will be able to take that out. But here comes the push at the front. More Blink going on. We see some Zealots getting morphed in by Sake. Some missed Blinks. Oh no, is not at a good angle. Most of his stuff is trapped wow. behind. And it looks like Xenix core is getting the huge concave, most of these stalkers from Sake not firing. We see that the, D the Dark Templar still managing to pick off the Cybernetics Core. Oh my gosh, Core got an incredibly lucky break after the brilliant opening and amazing response by Sake. What a back and forth game, but it looks like Core now has overwhelming stalker numbers 
He has the blink, and Sake can't believe it. Wow, there's going to be the GG at this game, showing you how much a couple of DTs can set you off of your game. Even though he had an expansion, Sean, and he just was not able to recover. Force put that robotics in a very bad spot when it came down to the last battle. So Sake, when it looked like he was way ahead, which he was, was not able to finish that game out. The cannon placement was not as good, and the DT slipping right up that ramp, which immediately turned the pendulum back into Kor's favor, and that's exactly what we saw here. So Sake, who has been yet undefeated, gets his first loss in the group. Xenix Core, who has taken one series of a loss, extending himself to a 3-1 position in that group. Last week of group play is coming up in two weeks. Yeah, I believe yes. we have two weeks remaining, so make sure to stay tuned for that, guys. And that is going to be it for now as we just wrap it up with this last Protoss versus Protoss. I have been Husky. And I, per usual, am Day9. Check out our respective stuffs at youtube.com slash huskystarcraft. Yes. And... Day9.tv. Day9.tv. <laughs> I just want to make sure I get that right, Chunks. You have a lot of websites out there. I don't true. want to be sending people, go follow his Twitter, it's the best way, and then you punch me in the face afterwards. So. Because you're following someone else. Right. Only follow me on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Don't follow all others. With that, we're just going to go. Goodbye. We're just going to awkwardly leave. Bye. Bye.